Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this snowflake and how to apply it to a 3D object. Let's create a new document. Set the stroke to any color that you like and the fill to none. Now choose the pen tool and draw a straight line. Let's increase the stroke's weight to 4 points. And be sure your smart guides are turned on. Next, click on this path and draw a slanted line. Switch to the selection tool and drag it up to make a copy. Let's scale it down. To keep the same stroke weight, press the Ctrl and K keys on your keyboard to open the preferences window and be sure the scale strokes and effects is unchecked. You can access the same window by going to Edit, Preferences and General. Let's select these two lines and now double click on the Blend tool. Set the spacing to specified steps and change this value to a number of lines you wish to add between the existing two lines. Now go to Object, Blend and choose Make. Next go to Object and choose Expand. Go to Object one more time and choose Ungroup. Select the short lines and then switch to the Reflect tool. Next, while you are holding down the ALT key, click on this anchor point to set the reflection point. Set the axis to the vertical position and then click Copy. Switch to the Ellipse tool and draw a small circle on top. Press the SHIFT and X keys on your keyboard to swap the fill and the stroke. Next, we will rotate it around the circle and create 5 extra copies. Select everything and then go to Object, Repeat and choose Radial. Let's change the number of instances to 6 and align it to the center of our artboard. Next, we'll do some editing. First, double-click on the Radio Repeat object to open the editing mode. Now press the down arrow key on your keyboard a few times. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, select this anchor point and let's move it all the way down. Next, we'll create a diamond shape. Switch to the pen tool and draw a shape similar to this one. Use the direct selection tool to reposition the anchor points. Single click away from the artboard to exit the editing mode. Let's adjust the circles a little bit more. Double click on the radial repeat object again. Now double click on the circle and scale it up. Click away to exit the editing mode. Select everything, go to object and choose expand. Select the shape builder tool and let's fill the diamond shapes with white. Zoom in and create a small circle in the center. Finally, select everything, go to Object and choose Expand. Next, open the Pathfinder window and choose Unite. Let's scale it down and move it away from the artboard. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to apply this graphic to a 3D object. Select the ellipse tool and draw a big circle. Let's change its fill to red. To create a sphere, we only need half of the circle. 
Switch to the Direct Selection tool, select this anchor point and delete it. Now select these two anchor points and join them together. I'm going to change the color of my path so you can see it better. With the half circle selected, go to Effect, 3D and Materials and choose Revolve. If you wish, adjust the lighting. Now switch to the Selection tool and be sure the snowflake we've created previously is selected. Next open the Materials window, select Graphics, scroll down and click on the Add Materials and Graphics icon. Choose Add as Single Graphic and your snowflake should appear at the bottom. To add a graphic to a 3D object, first make sure your 3D object is selected. Now click on a desired graphic. Illustrator automatically places the selected graphic in the center of our 3D object. Let's move it up. To add another snowflake, we need to click on it again. And now we can scale it or move it. Let's add another snowflake by clicking on it again. Now move it up, scale it or rotate it. And let's add another one. To make any changes to a graphic that has been already placed on a 3D object, first we need to select it from the properties window. And now we can adjust it. Let's add a couple more snowflakes. And again, to edit a desired graphic, first select it from the properties window. Before we proceed to the next step, be sure the size, rotation and position of your graphics are exactly as you desire. You won't be able to adjust them later on. Let's select the 3D object and then click on this arrow to open the render settings. Make sure the ray tracing is on and select the render as vector option. Now click render. Next go to object and choose expand appearance. Let's lock the layer with a single snowflake. Now open the top group layer and lock the layer with the snowflake graphics. Open this sublayer and lock and turn off the wireframe layer. We won't need it anymore. Select the non-native art layer, close this window, swap the fill in the stroke, Switch to the eyedropper tool and get this red color sample. Next, switch to the ellipse tool, select the non-native art, click in the center of this bounding box and draw a circle the same size as the circle below. Click on this new circle layer and drag it below the snowflake graphics layer. Next, select the non-native art object and using the right arrow key on your keyboard, move it to the side. We will use it to sample the colors. Let's lock it for now. Next, we will add highlights. First, select the layer with the red circle and then go to the mesh tool. Now click somewhere here to add the first mesh line. And let's add a few more mesh lines. If you would like to learn how to use the mesh tool, please check out my previous tutorial. You will find a link to it in the description. Let's turn off the layer with the snowflake graphics for now. Select the direct selection tool and click on this anchor point. Now switch to the eyedropper tool and get a color sample from this circle. 
Try to get a sample from the location that closely represents the location of the selected anchor point. Next, we'll add this dark red to the bottom of our circle. First, switch to the lasso tool and draw a closed path around all these bottom anchor points. Switch to the eyedropper tool and choose dark red. Switch to the direct selection tool again and keep adding more colors to create a similar effect to the circle on the right. Unlock and select the non-native art layer and delete it. And do the same with the wireframe layer. Finally, turn on the visibility of the layer with the snowflake graphics back on. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.